I thank you for coming back to this class and thanks to everyone who gets to watch this later because I noticed that there was a lot of people that watched the, the first session. So that's, that's awesome. That was just lovely to know that you, know, you guys are getting to watch it and hopefully it's, um, it's been useful and a, and a nice class. You can hear me okay, Jan? Sorry? You can hear me okay? Yeah, just. Just. You're a little just. bit clean. Shout <laughs> a bit louder. <laughs> okay. I'll oh, there you go. <laughs> <voice. laughs> um, lovely to have you all back. What's really wonderful is that pretty much everyone here knows the routine about what happens in these online classes. We haven't had the pleasure of Lucy joining us um, in, a, in a live, um, but it's great to have you here, Lucy. Thanks for coming. Um, so we'll get started. So we're continuing on with the theme of um, From Fear to Flow. Okay, so I just wanted to do, I thought what we'd do today is do a little bit of, um, a little bit of process work around uh, exploring our fear in a different kind of way. So we didn't do the drawing last week and I'm wondering whether this week if you guys have any pen and paper lying around by any chance. I can always find some. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to grab some pen and paper? Colours if you've got it would be awesome. Claire? Is that Claire down there? Oh. Jean. Sorry, it's Jean. Hey, Jean, how are you? There's another Claire. I can't hear. Um. We can hear you, Jean. We can hear you. Might need to go to your settings. Uh, Jean, if you need to, you can, if you can't hear us, you can always try logging on and logging off. That's what I just did, and then it worked again. waiting for a few people to get sorted out while they're in the room. Wonderful. Hi to Christine and Claire. Okay. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Where, where, where are you, Christine? I'm at Beacon at, at my parents in laws next door. Cool. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mute everyone just because otherwise it's uh, we get a lot of break through sound and it's um, a little bit harder. I actually would prefer to be hearing all your voices all the time because it's just odd not being able to hear you but when people watch the replay there's a lot of distraction otherwise so I'm just going to mute everyone unless anyone's got anything that burning that they'd love to share before we get started. Are you yeah. still there? Sorry. Are oh, you there? Who was that? Christine? No, go ahead, who, please, um, the other person, go ahead. Uh, well, that's me, Jim. that's me. Um, I just want to thank you to change the time so we in Denmark can join. Thank you. Good, good. I'll, I'll see if we can, what we can do for next week if four o'clock <laughs> works. Maybe it will. That's, if, if that works for you, that's great that you can make it. I'm, I'm really happy that that's a better time for some of you. Um, yes. Awesome. Okay. Anyone else? No. All good. All good. Everyone's had a good week and we're ready to dance because it's the beginning of the week and it's so good to start um, with a clear body and a, and a calm mind. So mm. let's get started. So... <clears throat> Carrying on from what we did last week, we're still going to be doing the dances as usual, but I just thought we'd take our 
uh, focus of moving the fear and just exploring that fear a little bit more um, into maybe a bit of drawing um, because that's a really nice way to just find out where it actually is, you know, what your feelings are around that and then we can take that into the dance process. But what we will do first is we'll do a little warm up. So we'll do our warm up first and then we'll come um, back to sitting position and, and doing some drawing and stuff. Does that sound okay? So let's get up first of all. <coughs> and sorry, I'm just going to adjust this screen a little bit. So I always like to start off with a little shape and this really helps to move the chi initially and also move the blood through the body and free up any tension in your body. So let's just start with a shape. Start with your fingers, move it up into your wrists, take it into your elbows, bring in your whole arms, into your shoulders, down through your torso, into your hips, down into your legs, one leg at a time, shake it out, right down into your knee. Just bring your awareness to each of your joints and every part of your body as you're shaking. And then bring that shake back up through your body. And then let that shape go into any parts of your body where you're really aware of tension or disturbance. So if it's your shoulders, shake them. Really give them the best shape that you can get. If it's your hips or your lower back, start moving that shape into the parts of your body where you really notice the tension for yourself. And then we're going to relax now. We're going to put our hands on our belly. We're going to relax our knees. And the feet are just slightly under, they're under your hips. The knees are relaxed. And we're just going to take some nice, deep, relaxing breaths. So breathing in, pull your breath down through your lungs, fill up your lungs and right down into your belly. And then exhale, relaxing your muscles, your skin. And again, breathing in, nice deep breath in. And breathing out. And as you exhale, really bring yourself into the room, into your body. And again, breathing in. And breathing out, relaxing, coming right into your body, into the space. Not thinking about what you're doing after this or what you've been doing before, just giving yourself this time. One more deep breath. And you're welcome to use sound as you exhale. Arms by your side again, we're going to shake. Wrists, fingers, elbows, really moving the chi, moving the blood into your shoulders. See if you can, if you want to move your neck a little bit, you just drop your head slightly forward and then you can gently take that shake into your neck. Move that energy down your body. Just taking your awareness with you into the shake. Noticing how your chest feels as you move it down into your waist, down into your legs, your ankles, your knees, your toes. Oh good, okay. Can you guys hear me, still hear me okay? Oh good, because I've got a lovely dipping on, I don't know what's going on there. Up. Okay, hands on the belly again. And a couple more deep breaths. Here we go. So breathing in. Breathing out. 
Breathing in, filling up your lungs with oxygen, with chi. Pull that breath right down into your belly. Breathing out, relax. One more deep breath. And as you're breathing out, you're relaxing your whole body, letting all your thoughts just drift away. Okay, let's put our arms down by our side. And let's do a couple of shoulder rolls, just nice little shoulder rolls, forward, round and back. Forward and back. I like to do four of these and then I take it into the elbow, so then circle your elbows. That's the way. For four. And then use your whole arm, so extending your whole arm. Oh, gosh, just that feels good, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness, that feels good. Now, let's just come back the other way. So, four shoulder rolls forward. One, two, four. And then we're going to bring in the elbows. So, elbows, forward, and the whole arm. And relax. Good. Let's do a couple of little spirals to the side to warm up your spine. Beautiful. And now let's go into the Makaho stretches. So most of you will know these and if you don't, they are a series of stretches that helps to stimulate the chi flow through the various meridians or pathways where the chi flows in the body. So the first one is for the lungs and the large intestine. You open your feet wider than your hips. We're going to link our thumbs behind our back like that. <sighs> we're going to take a couple of deep breaths first and then we're going to drop the body forward, relaxing the knees. So just relax. Relax your knees. Breathing in. And now we're dropping forwards. Drop your head, bring the arms up over your head and relax forwards in that position. One more breath. We're going to drop the arms to the floor and roll up through the spine. Bring up your head last. Good. And then we're going to link our thumbs, but this time just change your grip. Whichever way you didn't have your thumbs crossed. I can never remember which way it was the first time. Take a deep breath in. And relaxing your body forwards again. Relax your neck. Relax your knees. Bring your arms up over your head. One last deep breath. <clears throat> Drop your arms to the floor. Roll up through your spine. Good. So now we're moving on to the stretch for the stomach and the spleen. Sorry, my earplugs are falling out. So we're going to do a little brush with the foot, one foot forward, and then you bring the foot back, press it into your bottom. And you should be feeling the stretch down the front of your body, down the front of your leg. You want to try and squeeze your knees together while you're there. That'll stimulate a bit more. Um, tension on the meridians and then put that leg down when you're ready and swap it over so the other leg brush forward bring your knees together pressing your heel into your buttocks good putting your foot down 
Now we're going to go on the floor, unless you've got problems with your knees. If you've got problems with your knees and you don't want to go onto your knees on the floor, you can repeat that same uh, stretch that we did just then. Otherwise, for the rest of us, we're going down onto the floor. And we're going to go to a number of positions. The first one, and you can stop here if you like, if the next one's too challenging, is you just open your arms up and you just bend back a little bit, push your pelvis forward a little bit and open up the front of your chest. And now we're going to continue back. So now put your hands behind you on the floor behind you and press your pelvis up. Just holding for a couple of deep breaths. And then when you're ready, putting your bottom down again and we're going to do a counter stretch forward. So just stretching forwards. Relaxing your head down. One more breath and we're going to roll up. Okay, the next one we are going to bring the soles of our feet together. This one is for the heart and the small intestine meridians in the body. Just getting on your sit bones. Hands go round your ankles. Take a deep breath, stretch your spine up. Breathing in and as you breathe out, Drop your head down towards your toes. Just going as far as you can and then some nice deep breaths in that position. There's nothing to do but relax. You don't need to push or force or try to get your head on your toes or anything like that. You just go as far as you can and then relax completely. Relaxing into your hips, relaxing your spine and your neck, your shoulders. And then we're going to roll up now. We're going to stretch the legs forwards. This stretch is for the kidney and the bladder meridians. So flex your feet up, bring your arms up over your head, take a nice deep breath in and reach over towards your toes, just going as far as you can. Once you've gone as far as you can, relax, just relax into that position. So relax your shoulders, so you're not overextending your shoulders and staying in that stretched out position. Just relax down once you can't go any further. And again, nice, deep, relaxing breaths in that position, not pushing or forcing. And on the next breath, we're going to come up. And we're going to let the feet fall open. Relax your knees. We take another deep breath in. And we're going to drop forwards towards our feet. But this time keep your knees nice and soft so you're not making them tense. They're just nicely, slightly bent. And this helps to stimulate the chi flow through the kidney a little bit, a little bit more deeper. One more breath and we're rolling up through the spine. We're going to cross the legs now 
and cross the arms. This is for the two meridians, extra meridians in the fire element, the heart constrictor and the triple heater. So we stretch our spine up as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, we bring the head down towards the floor, just keeping the arms crossed and the legs crossed as best you can. And relaxing, <clears throat> relaxing into your hip sockets, relaxing your neck and your shoulders. When you've had enough, rolling up. And we are going to pop the other leg in front, change your leg, and we're going to change our arm. So whichever one you didn't use in front last time, we're going to have that one in front now. Again, stretch your spine up, take a nice deep breath in. And dropping forwards, head down towards the floor. One more breath and then rolling up when you're ready. And the last stretch we're going to do is for the liver and the gallbladder. So opening your legs out wide. And we're going to go to one side first. It doesn't matter which one. We're going to stretch up an arm. Above your head, take a deep breath in. And then breathing out, we're going to drop over to one side. And take some nice deep breaths. This stretch always makes me want to just make a sound. Ugh. A groan. <sighs> one more. And then we're going to change over the other side. So one more breath and then changing over whenever you're ready. Breathe in. And breathe out. And coming up when you're ready. And the last one, we're going to do a little stretch forward, an extra stretch for the liver. <clears throat> so you can do this a couple of ways. You can just crawl forward. Or if you like, you can pop your hands behind your back and just lift yourself up on your hands a little bit and then lean, lean forwards. And that's quite good if you feel tight in your hips at all. This is quite a good alternative to, to stretching forwards with your arms. So you can just put your hands behind you and like lean forwards. Otherwise, you're very welcome to drop forwards onto your hands. And then we're coming up when you're ready. <clears throat> and now we're going to get back. Um, if you're, we're going to come back now to sit. So wherever you want to be, you, you can stay sitting on the floor. If you've got your drawing stuff close by,
So, you know, fear is a constricting emotion, right? It's not an expansive emotion. So when fear works through our body, I mean, in terms of Chinese medicine, it really affects our uh, fundamental store of qi. It, it's like it depletes it. It's, it um, you know, the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight response, the adrenals. So when fear is working through our body, it can deplete our energy. So that's why uh, in, in Chinese medicine, they say that the, um, when uh, we are in a state of the opposite from fear, it's more like courage. You have the courage and it's a deep inner resilience to move through your life knowing that you can meet experiences with, because you have energy, you have motivation, and you have courage. Okay, so uh, one of the really good practices that some of you may know who if you've done work with me before is that really deep breathing into your hara. We call it the hara in Chinese medicine in shiatsu. So that is quite a good practice in, in terms of how to anchor in and build up your store of qi that gets easily depleted if, you, if you're in a fearful situation. So I don't know... <laughs> I don't know what fearful states you guys are all in right now or whether you're in one at all or whether you have some chronic fear that comes up for you every now and again. Um, but if you do move into a state where you're feeling like you want to run away from or you want to avoid something, that's when fear is quite often present. Okay? Especially if you want to run away from any situation. That sympathetic nervous system has been activated. And what happens a lot in, I guess, in our Western civilization and the cultures the way that we are living now is that people tend to get stuck in there and they can't drop back into a state where they're able to assimilate and process and re-nourish themselves. So, you know, Wudao is really good for that. Wudao is a really great way to rebuild your, your chi and you guys have been doing it for a while will know um, that the whole water dance when we do it is, is about... Um, realigning and reconnecting yourself to that source of chi that you've never lost contact with but for some moments we forget. When fear is present, we've forgotten that we are safe, isn't it? We've forgotten that we are, we are actually always safe, funnily enough. At, at our core being, you know, I mean, you know, within, within reason, of course, you know. If you, you, you don't walk out into the middle of the road and say, I'm, I'm safe, you're going to get hit by a car and you might die. So you don't do things like that, right? But underneath, um, at a deeply spiritual energy level, we are always safe and loved and held and nourished. Okay, that's our natural state. So if we do have a fearful situation, we need to be able to return and find a way to come back to that. The water dance is a great way to do it, but sometimes it's nice what we're going to do here is just have a little exploration around what we are actually afraid of in this moment. Is there some underlying fear that you carry through your life that makes you contract, that makes you hold back or withdraw or does it reduce your ability to do some of the things that you might like to do? So um, I am going to... We're going to do a little meditation first and then I'm going to put on a bit of music and we might do just a bit of free form drawing. Does that sound okay? You just have to nod because <laughs> you're all on you're all on mute. And if there's any problem with sound or anything, uh, just please let me know. Just pop your hand up or, or see if you can put a message in the chat. So I'm not very good at looking at the chat, but we'll see how we go with that one. So let's just start first of all by closing our eyes. <sighs> Taking some nice deep breaths. So breathing in, breathing out, relaxing completely. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your neck. So if you're sitting, you may like to just drop your chin slightly, releasing any tension on the back of your neck. And take that relaxation down through your torso into your chest. (sighs) 
Nice deep breaths into your chest area, softening. Opening a little. And take your breath into your skin. Relaxing your skin. Relaxing and opening your skin, your contact with the air, just feeling the air on your skin. And we just affirm that we're safe, it's safe to be open. It's safe to allow the movement of energy into our body, into our being. It's safe to release. So just continuing to do nice, deep, relaxing breaths with every exhale becoming softer more open and take some nice deep breaths into your belly now as you exhale just allowing your belly to completely relax and soften And now as you're breathing, just ask yourself, where is the fear? Where do I feel fear in my body? And as you bring your awareness to that area, you might just like to move into it gently. Just very little movement into that area. Just with awareness. Just a very soft, gentle movement into the space where you're most aware of your fear. And you can just notice, does it have a colour or a shape? What does it feel like in your body? And just allow yourself to relax around that fear. Just moving very gently. Just softly relaxing.
And you can ask yourself, what am I afraid of? What is this fear about? And is it something I am able or willing to have transformed? Is there some space where I can open and allow that fear to move and change. So now that we've made contact with it in a very gentle way we're going to open our eyes and we're going to move to our drawing and I just want you to put on the paper that any sensations that you have around the fear the color the shape the movement just dance that onto the paper. I'm going to put on a little bit of music for this bit. comfortable doing that just pick any color just allowing the energy of that fear to come through you onto the paper
when we've <clears throat> finished that, we are going to take what arose or what you could sense or what you could feel about the fear that you're aware of um, into the dancers. So the dancers that I thought we'd do today because they best support the movement of energy and the freeing up of the chi um, in the kidney and the bladder is we, we will do the little warm up dance because that's a nice way to warm up. Um, we will just, today we're going to do, we'll go straight into the water and then we're going to go into the wood. Okay, so the wood is the element that follows the water energy. So we're going to gently free up that fear and find a little bit more energy. And then it's really nice sometimes to move into the wood because the wood unblocks chi. Okay, so it's, there's been so much going on in the world around us. I don't know what's been going on in your own personal lives, but the impact um, on our psyche with just the global events with, with the coronavirus and everything else that's been going on, um, I'm sure that has stagnated our liver chi, right? It's, it's putting a little blanket and we, it's, it's um, increasing our frustration, our um, impatience, our, we're wanting to move, right? Everyone's wanting to move. We, we, our freedom has been a little bit um, stifled for some. So, and uh, the, the liver is most affected by emotional disturbance. So we want to free up that energy. So we're going to build our energy in the water. We're going to release a little bit of the fear. And then we're going to do the wood. So to really get into the wood dance and just move through, move any energy where you're feeling repressed or held back or where you're not feeling that you can be creative or express yourself. Okay? And you'll be, that will help the energy in the water to, to also move somewhere purposefully. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Sometimes I just talk. Oh. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the little water, uh, the little warm-up dance. We're going to do the water, and then we're going to do the wood. How's that sound? Good. Okay. So, oh my God, I'm just looking at the time. Sorry, guys. I don't know what I've been doing, but we're a little bit behind. But that's okay. So. Um, just getting the music sorted. Here we go. Now, am I going to have to jump up? I think I might have to jump up and move the and move the music, but that's okay. Are we all ready to go? Okay. Okay, so we're going to start with the little warm-up dance. We're going to go straight into the water, which we'll do the standing version because it's easier. Unless you're at home and you want to do the lying down water, please go right ahead, but I won't give instructions for that. And then we'll go into the woods. So let's go. <coughs> so we're doing nice deep breaths all the way through this, bending the knees. We're going to breathe in. Breathe out, release. And breathe in. Drop down to one side, little stretch. Other side. And up, breathing in. Ah, breathing out. Again, breathing in. And out. And in. And out. And in. Both arms down. We do a big scoop backwards in the arms, like two arms back stroke, opening the chest. Now we do four back stroke. One and two, three and four. Both arms together. We go into the stretch for the lung and the large intestine. Open your chest, link your thumbs, drop your body forward, relax your knees, neck, head. Drop your arms, roll up through your spine. Now we sway to one side, other side, the four. Step to the side, circle your arms. 
One arm keeps going, little side bend, bend your knees as well. And back, sway to the other side now. And two, and three, and four. Step to the side, both arms around. One arm keeps going, little side bend, bend. Nice deep bend now, deep bend, and stretch out to the side, other side, deep bend, deep bend, stretch your knees together, stretch out, back the other way, open both arms, arms crossing over the head to the shoulders, again, Breathe in, you're gathering all the chi of the universe. Store it in your belly as you exhale. Turn your palms now, breathe in. Right, one arm up, come down. Changing. Both arms around. Into the prayer. So just close your eyes and rest there for a minute. I'm just going to change the music, so just stay there. Close your eyes. And now we're moving into the water element. And this is where we replenish our chi. So you can imagine, feel that little tiny seed. Maybe the embryo in the womb. You are completely safe. You're supported by the water all around you. It's circulating around you and it's flowing into your body, into your mind and your heart and it's building your energy, replenishing your chi. going to sway to one side and before one, two, three, four. We're going to curl over now, wrap your arms around into the fetal position and back to the centre. Other side sway. Just twisting around your spine, freeing up the energy for your kidneys. Bring your arms around, drop your head down. Back to the centre and one. Two, three, four. Now we're going to do a little turn. Turn and then turn back the other way. Change your weight to the other side. Two, three, four. Turn. Back. Change your weight. Four more sways. Now we're going to step together and circle your arms up over your head like you're a little bit of seaweed. Change your weight. Other side. Letting the music carry you. Side to side. Back. Change your weight. Now we're just going to extend one foot forward. Circle it round, drop your body down towards your feet. Open both arms, other side. Circle your foot around, drop your body down. Up and open. And sway. Now we're going to circle the leg and an opposite arm. Legs come forward, drop your body over it, and back, other side. And any version of that will do. Stretch one leg forward, opposite arm circles, drop body down, up, and side. Circle your arm and your leg all the way around, body forwards over the leg. And the other side. Mm -hmm. 
opposite arm and leg. Leg forwards, drop your body forwards. Sway, sway, little turn, and back. Okay, so close your eyes now. You're getting ready to move into the wood. So you've built up some chi. So now we need to move the chi. We're going to use the chi that we have in our bodies now to help us free up and express ourselves. To move into flow. Out of blockage into flow. So let's first of all dance in the tree. So however you want to do it, we're going to put our roots into the earth first. Just doing your own thing. Just a guide. Just imagine a tree in your mind and become it. Because you are exactly like that tree. Your feet are firmly planted and connected to the earth. You're nourished and fed by the earth. And the life force is growing you. All you have to do is follow the energy. Let it move into all those spaces where you feel constricted or tight. Invite the energy to move through your body. Into your branches. And allow yourself to become everything that you dream yourself to be. Flourishing, on purpose, free, and in harmony with everything else in life and everyone else, dancing together. We put our roots down again. Draw the energy up from the earth, let it feed you. Energy flowing through your trunk. Nothing to stop that flow, freeing up all blockage and resistance, all constriction. Extending your branches. Upwards, outwards. Joyful, inspired, free growth. We're going to stretch now. Here we go, guys. One. Two, three, four, five. Relax your body down. Roll up through your spine. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. You're going to do a deep bend. Slide your leg out. Now we're going to swing out to one side. Stretch the side of your body. Back the other way. Now we're going to go all the way around and round the corner with three, two, three steps. One, Foot comes forward, arms come back. One foot forward, arms come back like a Spanish dancer. One more. Swing that leg around. Two steps. Little jump. Another deep bend. Bend. Stretch up. We're going to swing and stretch out to one side. Out of the way. All the way around now. Three steps around the corner. Arms over the head. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Over the head, squeeze. One more. Bring one leg around. Two steps. Little jump. Now we're going to gather the chi. Take a little rest. Breathe in. And breathe out. You're breathing in. Gathering all the chi of the universe. Storing it in your belly. You're remembering that you've never left. You've never lost connection to the source. One more. Turn your palms now. Draw the energy to your belly button. Breathe in. Open one arm up, one arm down. Change. Breathing in, gather. And open, relax. In. And relax. Last one. Deep bend again. 
Bring out and stretch. Stretch to the side. Other side. Stretch. Big bend in the middle if you can, and we go round the corner. One, two, three. Arms up over the head. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. Again. One more. Bring your arms across. Two steps. Little jump. We're going to stretch. Two, three, four, five. Relax everything. Roll up. One. Five, relax. And one, two, three, four, five, relax. Last time. Now close your eyes and become that tree. The tree is a metaphor for you as a flourishing, healthy, being. You're connected to the earth, you're connected to the sky. Just flowing energy, following the life force, letting it guide you into becoming, let it guide you into your joy, your expression, your uniqueness. And when you're finished, just close your eyes. Bring your feet together. <sighs> Relaxing your knees, your feet into the earth. Just feeling the energy flowing through your body. When you unblock the chi, you'll feel the energy. You'll have more energy. You'll feel hopefully more uplifted and positive and on purpose. And so when you're ready, opening your eyes, And you might like to grab a little mouthful of water. <sighs> and we will just finish with a little meditation. I'm puffed. <laughs> I'm yelling. <laughs> you can't, I can't see you. <laughs> um, okay, I'll stop jabbering on now and just find the right music. So make yourself comfortable. Make yourself very comfortable. And close your eyes. We're just going to let ourselves drift now. So again, nice deep breaths. With every breath, with every exhale, you're relaxing a little bit more. And you're relaxing because you feel completely safe. You remember that you are one with that field of energy.
nourishing supporting with every out breath relaxing your being a little bit more until you feel your oneness with that flow vibrating with life force with health It's actually really nice dancing at the end of the day. I think it's better than dancing at the beginning of the day somehow. Because mm-hmm. you're going into the yin. It feels nice. It's just good if you don't have to work after. So I don't yeah. have to work. This is really good. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> I do have to work. I'm off to night shift in a couple of hours. Oh, no. <laughs> Christ. Oh, no. I have to work as well. Hi. I have to work as well, but it's uh, an adult ballet class. 
Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Ooh. Going We're nuts. <laughs> oh. Where are you? Uh, Fremantle. Well, it's O'Connor. Okay. Oh, you teach. You teach there. I teach there. Oh, cool. You're in Fremantle. My goodness. We need to yeah, catch up. <laughs> <laughs> you better go to class, Michelle, before we you need to, work. Yeah. <laughs> You need to come to a Tuesday. Do you work on a Tuesday night? Tuesday night? Um, at the moment, yes, I, I work on Tuesday night, but next, yeah, I do. Because hmm. we have a lovely class in Florida on a Tuesday night. It's in Florida, oh, it's a bit of a hike, but you're always welcome to come with me. You can drive down in one car. But, yeah. Does it go into December or are you? T yeah, we go all the way to the 21st or the 22nd, whatever it is, the last one before Christmas. Mm -hmm. So maybe after term is over. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to try that. Yeah. Oh, it's a gorgeous class. It's, it's at sunset. We've got ocean views. It's, oh, it's heavenly. It's very oh. nice. Yeah. Good. How's everyone doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, this is Susanna. I joined yesterday or saw the recording yesterday, I should say, that uh, Sue Malte in, Malte in Sydney had sent to me because oh, I, right. was, I was trying to follow up with a live class and there isn't one in my area so uh, where I am in Sydney. So I really appreciated that and then had this, I joined you late today, but it's still good even at the end of the day. There was, uh, yes. Yeah. So thank you so much. And I wanted to ask, are you going to do these as a regular or is there a program that you're going to offer in an online way for those? Because um, there just isn't anything it, for, for example, where I am. Yeah, if you're, if you're not already on my mailing list, maybe get on that so I can keep you updated. Just go to the website, wudowdance.com and sign up on the mailing list. There's a, there's a few different ways to get there. Um, and that way I can keep you updated. So this series, we have another two classes. So if four o'clock works, I'm actually okay with a four o'clock. So this is a couple of more fortnights we've got, haven't we? Two more fortnights till Christmas. Um, I can't remember the dates, but we've got two more. So not next Monday, but the Monday after that we have a class and then two Mondays after that, and that'll take us up till Christmas. So these, those, these classes are free and we're focusing on um, theatre flow. So the theme will always be around that. Um, and then next year is a, God knows what's happening next year. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's a basket of surprises. But, it's a basket uh, of surprises, exactly. Um, but, you know, obviously there will be, there will be some offerings and it's, um, I just haven't decided exactly what for the new year. Mm -hmm. what shape they will take um well i think it's yeah. a nice experience for you know if you haven't done them before this way um you know it's opening and i saw you on the embodiment conference and i joined oh, you there and oh, fantastic. Uh, that's how i came across your work and was very interested yeah. so oh, I wanted good. To follow yeah. Up. fantastic yeah and um that i actually have that class ever let us um download it so for, for my regular people who are here that, that have been coming to classes, I'm actually going to be able to send that out to you soon. I've just got to, they're giving us a link to be able to download our class from the embodiment class. So if anyone missed it, you'll be able to watch it again. Um, and um, Susan and anyone else, if you, there are lots and lots of classes because we have done online classes now pretty much since the beginning of COVID. So since, I think we started in April. So there's lots and lots on the YouTube channel. So Wood Our Dance, there's a, there's a ton of them okay. um, of free classes up there um, taken by lots of different teachers too from all, all around the world. Lots of our teachers have participated and offered classes and they're all up there plus um, a, a few with me and stuff as well. So, um, yeah, they're all there and they're I'll all follow free. up. Yeah. yeah. So okay. pretty much now, Wudow is, um, you can learn everything about Wudow without having to pay anything. <laughs> well, that I'm not doesn't... sure if it's that good for me, but anyway. I don't think that sounds the best for you, <laughs> but maybe more volume and, you know, something new and, yeah, the way it's growing, yeah, as it opens up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I just, to be honest, especially through COVID, I just, the idea of actually charging for stuff just was really difficult. I just, I, I just know that so many people were going through different things and, I just really wanted to offer what I could for free anyway. So, um, 
it's a beautiful thing that you've done because it's you know, it just makes it really accessible and and it's it's very very much appreciated very yeah. much oh that's good and i found that's today so really pleasure. really wonderful the the in this kind of gentle peaceful way kind of energizing and nourishing the body and and being mm. like that combination of energy flow and dynamic but with this very soft gentle flow is just really beautiful oh thank you i'm really glad you enjoyed it it's, mm. it's lovely yeah and it, it really i mean you know we do really does work for people who have been doing it for a long time you know myself absolutely included um you know it's it's what keeps it, it's what keeps me in the zone you know and there's a zone that you want to be able to stay in so you can be functioning at your optimum not just physically health wise but emotionally mentally and spiritually you've got to find that zone where you can deal with whatever is going on stress wise relationship wise whatever is going on in your life and it's a tool you know to be able to process it because so much of the stuff um, I was listening to something uh, that someone else uh, a podcast the other day and they were saying that you can't actually process um, like trauma just through your head you actually need to move it you need to feel it in your body and so having a you know this a space where you can actually allow yourself to just acknowledge what's there physically and move it um, you know that's it, it works a treat for, for people who are, this feels right for exactly yeah so thank you for coming how was the drawing process and the little meditation for you was that um, helpful very helpful. Yeah, yeah. Good. I think it was good. Yeah, it's a good way to get in touch with something and um, put it on paper. And, you know, the other thing that we didn't have time to do, maybe we'll think about that for next week, is so you can actually take it into your own bit more of a free-formy kind of movement where you actually, you know, dance your, dance your picture or, or dance a feeling that you've got inside. It's a bit harder in this kind of um, setting to be able to, to do that but it's something that you might like to do yourself you know just put on a piece of music something that resonates with you and look at your picture and just dance it and see how it feels for you just move it through your body yeah. I haven't done that for the a long drawing time, was amazing hey? like for me the drawing was the revelation of the day because I, when I have to see the colors and find a shape for my fear, it's really difficult. Like I'm always blind inside. But then drawing, it's really, I don't like drawing, but when I'm so relaxed, suddenly I can draw and then the things come. And I watched mm -hmm. this documentary about Anna Horprin, this dancer. Yep. And it's so amazing. And there she discovers her cancer by drawing. She draws her cancer and then she mm -hmm. heals it by dancing. And for yeah. me, it was always yeah. science fiction, but now I can imagine it because it really, your body knows it. And that's so amazing, this body knowledge that then he draws the things you have in your body and that was really beautiful to, yeah. to grab it. Yeah, um, just for those people who haven't already done that, but all of my teachers have done the course in transformation, which is basically a six month, really, six months to a year course, depending on how fast you move through it. But we use a lot of, um, processing and using drawing as a way to get in touch with um, what you're, what's there, you know, what's beneath the surface, because sometimes it's just hard to like find it. Sometimes you can go into dance and it's just there or you're aware of something, but sometimes you might need a little bit of assistance to, to tap into the things that we're maybe not so clear about, but that are still constricting and working against our life force. So drawing is a really beautiful way to get in touch with that. It can be really, really simple. So if you're interested in doing more of that, um, the Course in Transformation is um, it's on the website. And you, can, you can purchase it just at the course and do it online. Or I am thinking that next year I might actually do a, um, a weekly class and do that whole program online because it's, it's really powerful. Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree, Jan, who did the very yeah. first time we did it? Absolutely. <laughs> it's life-changing. Yep. It really changes because you go through all the elements and you look at all the different um, uh, your different experiences through the life cycle, through the framework of Chinese medicine and how that works in terms of your fears, uh, your your restrictions, your anger, the blocks, 
um, your griefs, your sadness, all those, all that. But in the context of Chinese medicine, so that's it, it's a real beautiful container to hold um, everything that you've got going on and to explore it. It's a, it, it, I, I find it creates quite a lot of safety, and also it's neutral. You know, it's not, it's nothing about. It's not really, it's not religion, it's not really even spiritual, it's just a sense of energy and mapping that energy in your body um, in a way that's um, quite natural when you're in touch with the elements. Anyway, I'm really rabbiting on here and I have to go. <laughs> You've got to go to work. <laughs> I have to go to work. <laughs> thank you so much. I've got a few yeah. hours. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, lovely to have you here and thank you all for coming. We didn't get to hear everyone's stories but if you've got something burning that you want to share from this experience for next week or you or you want to you can send it to me um or if you want to talk more about it um or else come back next fortnight and um maybe we can have a bit of a bit more time for a discussion because i pretty much just talk too much can i ask you a question michelle before you finish will you make this recording available i see it's being recorded do you make them available yes to those of us yeah. who have turned so probably by the end of the week, normally it takes me a little while to um, fine tune things and get it all sorted. Um, but by the end of the week, I'll, I'll send it out to get Thank a copy. You. If Thank you're on my you. list, if you're on my mailing list. So you've got to be on my list to get it. I think I must be because I did sign up, you know, so yes, okay. but I but I didn't get any. Anyway, yes, I'm on your list, I'm sure, but I'll follow up and make sure. And I'm okay. interested as you hear more about the transformation program. So, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Good. Thank you. That's thank you. To, yeah, thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful fortnight till I see you next. It's four o'clock, seems to be a good time, so I'm happy to do it at this time because we can get Leonard here a little bit later, not at seven o'clock in the morning. And um, uh, Jean as well. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. That's Good for me as well. Good. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Good to see you, Lucy, in the middle there. I saw your kids jumping around, their legs and feet kicking up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me, can you? I can now. Oh, you yeah. can. Great. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, they, uh, they like to be involved, so... Yeah, that was great. Because I can see your, I could see you dancing, then I could see a foot coming up. <laughs> <laughs> and Leonard, it's lovely to have a gentleman here. Yeah, it's a pity that there's not more men covering this. This would be. Yeah, you tell all your uh, mates. Hmm? <laughs> what? Tell your mates. What did you? <laughs> yeah. Your friends. Your friends. Yeah, yeah, it's not so easy, not so accessible. You have to make some way before with your body and your mind to get there. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing with dance. It's and this kind of thing. It tends to attract a lot of women. <laughs> yeah, women are ready because they just have that connection. But we really appreciate you being here. It's yes, lovely to have a um, a, a guy here. Mm. I just want to say, you, you don't talk too much. Like all the words were really important for me. Also in the beginning about the emotions and stuff. For me, everything was really concise. And then there's the moment when you get insecure and you wonder if you talk un that giblish stuff. But actually, it's all super clear. And there was no moment where it felt like you were lost. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take that. Zoom <laughs> calls are just always too short. It's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Thank bye everyone. Much. I have to run. All right. So yeah. much. All right, guys. Have a wonderful yeah. fortnight. Yeah. See you in a fortnight. Yeah. yeah. Good. See you soon. Bye bye. bye. Thanks, have Michelle. Beautiful dreams. Beautiful dreams. <laughs> yeah. Healing, transformative dreams tonight. Okay. I muted myself because the trains were going past. <laughs> <laughs> I have breakfast now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have dinner. Oh. Bye. Going to supper. Bye. 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 Bye.